My name is Katie. Welcome to my food art channel. Today I want to do some uh, wandering straight pours. Um, let me tell you about my colors. This is Ultramarine Blue by Liquitex with a small amount of Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex. This is Quinacridone Magenta with a small amount of Ultramarine Blue. This is a Heavy Body Orange by Folk Art uh, with a little bit of Magenta. And this is Brilliant Yellow Green by Liquitex. My white is an Amsterdam white, titanium white. Right. I want to do multiple cups. I'm going to fill them all at the same time. Let's see. Yeah, I want to go. This is my flow extender, scrap, table scraps. I think I want to do the blue violet first. That red kind of a violet color. Some white. Some orange, red orange. A little more white. I don't want the green and the orange touching. They look great together, but you don't want to mix them. All right, there's cup number one. The blue violet kind of color. The red violet kind of color. <laughs> Some white. A little bit of orange. Some more white. And some yellow green. Purple. Pink. White. Orange, white, and yellowish green. And the purple, pink, white. Orange, white, and green. Okay, I think I'm going to need one more cup. Purple. Pink. White. Orange, white, and the yellow green. Okay. Always level your canvas. Make sure your canvas is level. Hopefully my camera doesn't go out of focus. There you go. All of my paints are mixed one part paint to two parts flow trawl. 
My consistency is, uh, it leaves a, about a t two second tr trace on top of my paint. I promise tomorrow I'll do something else. <laughs> I love wandering straight pours. They're my favorite. I hope the sound of the rain's not bothering you. We actually got rain today. I got my studio windows open. I love it. All right. Did I layer that one different? No. All right. Close tender. You need a floor extender to keep your your paint from grabbing the canvas and rolling over itself or under itself and uh, to keep a composition. If you were to tilt now, you would lose stuff. Plus, uh, I need enough paint to make sure that I have enough for composition. Let me say what composition. <laughs> Uh, Lucy's here with me today. That's Winston's wife. She's uh, afraid of the thunder. So she's in, with, she's in here with me today. Usually she's on the couch while I'm in here in the living room. So she, she's just scared. But that's okay because she's not going to bark. She's laying under my la my feet right here. If I don't paint the dog. It's happened before. <laughs> J 
She's about 12 years old. Little girl Chihuahua. She's a good girl. Yes, she is. All right. My table scraps are an ugly, deep gray color. They're going to go over the side, so I'm not worried about that. Okay. I believe I'm going to go to that corner first. I'm going to walk it down. This is a long canvas. It's a 10 by 20. I've had this yellowish green for a while. I usually use lime green by Liquitex. But I got this uh, yellowish green and I've wanted to put it with uh, a blue violet for a long time. I just kind of forgot about it. Won't be a problem. I can get that. Love the rain. My beautiful garden really took a hit this year. No, I mean, if you want to stand out there and water all day, you might keep something alive, but it was just so hot. Even my tomatoes suffered. All right. Where do we want to go? I like that. I like that. I like this. I'm going to come this way and down a little bit. Yeah. You always start where you paint in the center of your canvas. Don't laugh at my spinner. it. wish I had a more more yellowish green right there. Kind of looks like a psychedelic sky and a mountain range and some hills. All right, let me see where the paint is. Oh, we're good.
Let me torch it and look at it again. Done painting, always make sure you scrape the bottom edges of your canvas. You want to get all those drips. Touch up your corners. back every so often for an hour, hour and a half. Check to make sure there's no drips. If you find drips, it means you're uh, on one side and not another. It means your canvas isn't level. And it's kind of hard to level after you've poured on it. All right. I'm going to bring you down for a closer look. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's free. Lights, lights everywhere. Okay. I'm not sure of the composition. This long canvas is hard to get into a photo. Yeah, I love the way that uh, yellowish green looks next to that violet blue. Beautiful. And of course, orange and uh, violet are always pretty. I love that. That's beautiful. Look at the small little lines. Pretty. I have to try layering that differently and try these colors again. Now, I'm not sure where, which way you're going to see this on TV. Maybe right there, I think. Thank you. Please come back and see me again. Don't forget to ring the bell. If you ring the bell, they'll notify you when I upload another video. I upload a video about every day. So come back and see me. Bye.